One of the main reasons many progressives are refusing to support Hillary Clinton, myself included, is because when it comes to foreign policy, she's just a neoconservative. There's no other way to describe her. I mean, when you look at her past foreign policy endeavors, including her vote for the Iraq War, her intervention in Libya, and even her current policy proposals. I mean, you look at her Syrian no-fly zone, which could reignite the Cold War, the fact that she wants to ramp up the fight against ISIS and topple Bashar al-Assad in Syria. I mean, you cannot make any other conclusion other than Hillary Clinton is a neoconservative. Now, her Syrian no-fly zone is something that I think more people should talk about. I mention it all the time on the show and why I'm really terrified of Hillary Clinton. It was the most scary policy proposal, hands down, because if you decide to institute a Syrian no-fly zone and then shoot down any planes, which Russia is currently in Syrian airspace, so if they if they violate that Syrian no-fly zone, she's literally saying that she's going to shoot down their planes, that could reignite a new Cold War. That was her scariest policy until now. So Hillary Clinton revealed how she's going to increase cybersecurity, and this is now officially her new scariest policy proposal. So how exactly will Hillary Clinton deal with cyber attacks against the United States? Quote, like any other attack. So if we're hacked and information is exposed, no matter how terrible that might be, you can't treat that like any other attack because it's not like any other attack. If there's an actual attack on US soil that's violent, people die. Nobody dies due to a cyber attack. Now, I'm not making excuses for cyber attacks. I think that they're bad. I think that we should take precautions to prevent them from occurring. But to say that you're going to treat a cyber attack like any other attack on the U.S., that is honestly puzzling to me. A cyber attack does not constitute an armed attack. That violates the principle of jus ad bellum, which mandates that you must have a just reason to go to war. Getting hacked is not one of them, Hillary. And furthermore, this proposal is illegal under international humanitarian law, which requires a military response to be proportional. That wouldn't be a proportional response. Actually attacking someone and bombing them because they hacked you is not proportional at all. Nobody who's reasonable would believe that. But she explains her policy position a little bit more. As president, I will make it clear that the United States will treat cyber attacks just like any other attack. We will be ready with serious political, economic, and military response. We're going to invest in protecting our governmental networks and our national infrastructure. I want us to lead the world in setting the rules in cyberspace. If America doesn't, others will. So you want to set the example for the world when it comes to cyber attacks. So what you're going to say is, look, if somebody hacks you, you are well within your rights to just straight up bomb them and kill their civilians. Unbelievable. I mean, ramp up security. Don't attack them, Hillary. So she continues, and here's where it gets downright terrifying. Quote, we need to respond to evolving threats from states like Russia, China, Iran, and North Korea, Clinton said in the speech. We need a military that is ready and agile so it can meet the full range of threats and operate on short notice across every domain, not just land, sea, air, and space, but also cyberspace. You've seen reports. Russia's hacked into a lot of things. China has hacked into a lot of things. Russia even hacked into the Democratic National Committee maybe even some state election systems. So we have got to step up our game, make sure we are well defended and able to take the fight to those who go after us. We know that Russian intelligence services, which are part of the Russian government, which is under the control of Vladimir Putin, hacked into the DNC. We know that they arranged for a lot of those emails to be released. This gave me chills when I read it. That is terrifying. She literally named Russia and said, I will attack anyone who hacks us. And then she said, Russia has attacked us. So you can honestly get that she's making an implicit threat or the implication is there that she would want to 
escalate tensions with Russia. And furthermore, she keeps claiming that the DNC was hacked by Russia. There's no evidence for that. Stop saying that because you are going to only further deteriorate our shitty relationship with Russia. Now, I'm not saying that Vladimir Putin is innocent, but what I am saying is that it's not worth starting World War III. I mean, this would bypass the Cold War like her Syria no-fly zone plan would do. It would just reignite a Cold War. This would just launch us directly into another World War. You're claiming that you're going to attack people who hack us. Then you say that Russia hacked us. I don't know even what to say. I don't know how to respond to this. This is something we should never, ever be afraid of from a Democratic presidential nominee. But here she is saying, you know what? If they hack us, I'm going to bomb them. Russia, I'm looking at you. China, you too. Iran, you as well. You hack us, you get bombed. Well, according to you, Hillary, they've already hacked us. So does that mean that you're going to attack Russia if you get elected? Furthermore, you could start a war on trumped-up charges because you keep claiming that Russia hacked the DNC in a failed attempt to divert attention away from you and your guilt. So will that be any different when you get into office? I mean, imagine what she's going to do if she's elected. She could say, look, Russia hacked us. I'm not going to show you the evidence, but just trust me. <laughs> trust me that we should definitely start World War III with them because they hacked us. What does this sound like? This sounds like Iraq has weapons of mass destruction. Maybe we should invade them. I'm not going to show you evidence, but trust me, the intelligence is there. How is this any different, Hillary? You haven't presented evidence, so as far as I'm concerned, it's not truthful to suggest that Russia hacked you when we don't have evidence of that. We don't know who hacked the DNC. So you're literally using an entire government as a scapegoat because you want to avert attention away from you. And now you're saying that you're going to attack people who hacked the DNC and who hacked the US. That is terrifying. And this should be advertised everywhere. This should be on the news. This should be covered nonstop. Because this is the most irresponsible thing I've ever seen a presidential candidate say, short of Trump asking why we can't use nuclear weapons. So regardless of who gets in office, Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump, either of those two individuals, the two mainstream candidates, the front runners, they are going to be potentially damaging, either starting World War III or a nuclear holocaust. This is really scary. Now, look, let me just say this. We know that you've got secrets, Hillary. It's why your husband used taxpayer dollars to set up a private email server for you. But whatever you're hiding, it's not worth starting World War III over. I can assure you of that. Again, I just want to emphasize here. The two mainstream political candidates, one of them is hellbent on using nuclear weapons. The other is hellbent on starting a new world war by either attacking Russia or China. We have to get Gary Johnson and Jill Stein into the debates because if we don't, if Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump is elected, which it looks like one of them will be, we're going to have to be really vigilant for the next four to eight years. We're going to have to put pressure on them to not do anything crazy. We're going to have to be afraid because Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, they're just not suitable for an office that requires someone to not be trigger happy and these individuals are so please everyone share this uh, if you don't want to share the video i'll put a link in the description box to the article because people have to find out what hillary clinton is saying this is very very irresponsible we can't have someone in office who wants to start a war with russia it's not okay and i could say i can i could justify her wanting to start a war with russia if she said look if russia actually attacks us i'm gonna hit them back that makes sense to me i could rationalize that but to say that it's justified and proportional to somehow attack them if they hack you that's insane <laughs>